A vector is always drawn with an arrow at the tip indicating the direction and the length of the line representing the magnitude. Displacement is the distance away from your initial position along with the direction. It does not account for the actual distance you moved. All of these vectors have the same magnitude, but vector B runs anti-parallel to vectors A1 and A2 and is denoted as negative A1 and negative A2. Vectors are also represented by bold type. The negative of a vector is defined as the vector that gives zero when added to the original vector. The negative of A1 is negative A1. Here you can see that B's arrow points this way, whereas A1 and A2 have arrows that point the opposite way. If two vectors are parallel and have the same magnitude, such as P1, P2 is parallel to P3, P4, and the absolute value of A1 equals the absolute value of A2, then A1 equals A2. Two vectors are equal if they have the same magnitude and the same direction. A vector may be translated as long as its orientation isn't changed without affecting the vector. If a vector is rotated, it becomes a new vector since its direction changes. Draw a vector to represent a plane flying north and east at 500 miles per hour. First, I'm going to draw north, and we have east going this way. So our vector will make red. So north and east at 500 miles an hour. So I'm going to start here and draw a line that looks like that. So it's going northeast at 500 miles per hour. Now, a wind blowing to the west, so let's draw north, and we have east going this way. So our new vector is going to be going to the west at 50 miles per hour. So if this length here is 500, I'll make this length shorter. So our new vector looks like that. Here we have our two vectors. This one points to the northeast with a magnitude of 500, and this one points to the west with a magnitude of 50.